Only to say, but it was in the heat of the moment, and uh, I deep re deeply regret the comments I made. Uh, it's certainly not the person who I am, and uh, I accept it was a mistake. I uh, spoke to the BBC reporter, who accepted my apology, and uh, hopefully we all move on. What's been the reaction from the, from, from the club since, since then? The club have known about it for two weeks. I told Ellis about it two weeks ago, so. Uh, Sometimes these things happen in the heat of the moment. You can hear the, the, the regret in your voice, though. You obviously were disappointed that it happened. Yeah, yeah it happens, but uh, you know we're in an industry where, you know, sometimes you're not always answer things exactly the way you want to. Okay. Can I just say, uh, David? I mean, one local women's group is asking for an FA investigation. Do you mm -hmm. think that's? Well, I think, as I said, I think if you look at my, my character, my personality, you think it couldn't be further from the truth. And, and managers having to do these interviews so, so soon after, after games, uh, is it a case that with sort of mm -hmm. passions running high, these things can happen? Yeah, it can happen. And uh, I think it's something which for, <clears throat> for all managers, senior managers and, and young managers, it's difficult when you're, you're put in front of the camera so quickly after the games. Can you understand why it was wrong in that instance to, to say what you said? Yeah, I do, yeah. 